Thanks to smart devices, some of you operate your homes with just the sound of your voice. It's like telling something to a personal assistant. But have you ever stopped to wonder how that technology works and if what you say stays between the two of you? Well, that's exactly some of the questions Dakota State University researchers are trying to answer, and they have a brand new building to do it in. For the first time, we're getting a look inside DSU's $60 million Madison Cyber Labs, also known as Mad Labs. We're showing you how the Computer Sciences and Cybersecurity Center is adding to the school's tech focus. Alexa, close the blinds. Okay. There's a lot more cooking in this smart kitchen than meets the eye. Researchers will use it to study how each machine uses electricity and... Alexa, turn on all the lights. Okay. Shed some light on how smart devices and appliances work. They're researching connectivity, so what devices are speaking to each other? And then who else are they speaking to? There are at least 14 labs like this one all over the new Mad Labs facility at DSU in Madison, South Dakota. And as you can see, some of these devices you might have in your home, yeah. but do you really know what they're doing in your home? The brand new building will allow undergrads, grad students, and faculty opportunities to research and solve problems. This is really going to put us on the map. We took a little trip through this open space. Professor of Economics Daniel Talley says this design will accommodate collaboration and all sorts of gizmos and gadgets. Designed to be adaptable, and so we'll be able to adapt to the new technologies, bring them in here, and be able to figure out the hopefully the best ways to harness them. Grad student Gurudir Reddy is studying information systems and analytics, and says Mad Labs will also allow students to better work with businesses and other tech companies. We act like a catalyst for innovation, technology, and uh, uh, finding solution for industry problems and research. Uh, here, uh, we are ready to collaborate with uh, small-scale industries, large-scale industries. Mad Labs marks a new beginning for DSU, and Olson says we're getting a window into the future for this tech and cybersecurity hub. This is very exciting, not only for DSU, but for the community and for the state of South Dakota. Major private donors T. Denny Sanford and Miles and Lisa Beacom gave a total of $30 million on the condition state government provided $10 million and Dakota State seek another $20 million from federal resources. The building is expected to be up and running by the end of the year.